morning. Thank you for joining this channel. There are 27 million uninsured, especially when it comes to healthcare. Most of these 27 million are either self-employed or work for a smaller employer groups. Companies under 50 employees, they were supposed to have been mandated under the Obamacare, which didn't materialize. Now there's an opportunity for the smaller employer groups to get together, form a cohesive force and compete with the larger employer groups. That's the way to go. All the smaller employer groups under 50 employees can, can form a group and can compete with the larger employer groups for lower premiums and money saved is put aside into the health savings accounts. I see a lot of companies are embracing FSA, like flexible savings accounts, which employees have no control. So year to year, that funds will vanish. I would rather encourage the employers to look into health savings, which is beneficial for the your employees. I think your employees. The, yesterday I met a girl, gal, she has, a, she says she has savings account, health savings, but she does have a flexible savings account, which is not um, beneficial for the employees because year after year the funds will dwindle and there, there's no funds. Uh, so the best option is to have a health savings. There are seven, I, 200 million Americans who are working for the larger employer groups. They all have, they're all self-insured by the larger employers and they also slowly merging with health savings accounts. So the larger employer groups are slowly are embracing the concept of deductible health plans with the health savings. I would like to foresee down the line even the Medicare, which is under the Healthcare Financing Administration and Department of HHS seriously should consider embracing the idea of having a deductible health policies instead of having the funds given directly to the insurers, insurance companies. I would rather have that $1,200 given an option for seniors to enroll themselves automatically into a deductible health plans with health savings so they can even save and put money aside into the health savings accounts. I think that will be a good option. So most of these seniors will benefit. Instead of this Medigap, Medicare Advantage, all the managed care organizations, which is not helping us. Basically, you're giving away your Medicare for no reason to a third party. I would rather see senior citizens take control of their finances, especially when it comes to health care. This is my advice, folks. This is my, I feel strongly in personalized, consumer-driven, patient-centric health care. That's the way to go. That's the only way we can lower the cost, especially with technology favors the consumers. I believe the time has come for a consumer-driven, patient-centric healthcare where they can shop for the healthcare when they have the funds and there's, there, the, this surprise medical billing needs to go away, which is really hurting a lot of folks out there. This medical billing needs to be taken, taken out of the system. There's a way to get compensated to the providers. There are several ways, folks, but we just have to come up with an innovative solution where 
you don't need to have a billing. It can be, the providers can be compensated right and rare, right when they provide the care. That's the best solution. And there is, there are ways to do it, folks. There are ways to do it. And Health Review Authority will monitor the health insurance, health insurers, insurance companies, people who are denied applications, especially when they were denied health care coverage, they'll review it. If they're eligible, they can give a certificate of guaranteed coverage. So everyone is covered. People who are economically impaired, physically impaired, they should have a certificate of guaranteed coverage, folks. So it is almost like having a private insurance. And they can see whomever they want, they should be able to take care of themselves. Folks, this is what I do in the morning. Thank you for joining. This is Consumers Dr. Vengala. Follow me. I'll continue to come up with some new innovative ideas in healthcare. And uh, there is definitely a solution for the rising healthcare costs. Empower the consumer. Believe me, empower the consumer. The consumers will lower the cost because they demand competition. They demand affordability and they demand transparency, folks. Right now, it's not happening. There's more and more consolidation, which is not good for our healthcare. Thank you. We'll see you in the next segment. Goodbye.